Hey, what's going on guys? This is Joe from Fandroid and we've got here the LG G6 and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. And I wanted to do a speed test because one of the big stories about these two devices is how the G6 has the Snapdragon 821 and the uh, S8 has the Snapdragon 835. And so that automatically must mean that the Galaxy S8 is just much faster than the LG G6. We're gonna put that to the test right now. So I'm gonna do a couple of different tests here. First of all, I've had these phones open. I've been using both of them all day. So I'm gonna do a test uh, right now. And then I'm gonna also reboot these and then do the same test again to see how much of a difference that makes. So we're just gonna open some easy apps and then a couple games and stuff like that. I should also mention that I haven't done anything with like animation scale or anything like that. This is how these devices come out of the box. So first of all, I'm just gonna open Twitter, which is a very lightweight, easy app. So let's do that. Sorry, I didn't touch it at the same time. I think that's just an animation thing because they're both right in the foreground. Uh, we'll try Instagram. Again, the Galaxy S8 opens a little bit faster. Okay, let's open the Forums app. Okay, that time they opened pretty much at the same time. So maybe I've just been hitting them bad. Let's try that one more time. Okay, let's open up the camera. That's a big speed thing. So the G6 actually was a little bit faster that time. Do it one more time. G6 won that one again. Okay, now I'm gonna open up an app that takes a long time to load on any phone and that's Pokemon Go. Galaxy S8 is a little bit faster to the boot screen. Taking a long time for both of them here. Actually is taking a lot longer than normal. Okay, the G6 won that battle by not much. Okay, and then I got a game here that is a more simple game, should be easier to launch. Let's see this one. S8 won by a hair on that one. Okay, so now I am going to reboot both of these phones and we'll try the test again off of a fresh start. Okay, so fresh reboot, let's do the same thing. So Twitter. SA opens a little bit quicker again um, and that's loaded a lot quicker this time. Instagram. SA launches and loads up faster. Uh, we'll do the forums app again. S8 loaded faster once again. Content displayed on the G6 first this time though. And we'll launch the camera. S8 won this time. And we'll try Pokemon Go again. S8 is first to the Niantic screen and the Pokemon Go splash screen. And the S8 loaded the game faster this time. And we'll open up that game for one last test. And the S8 wins that round again. So what can we deduce from this test? Well, it seems obvious that the S8 is faster out of a reboot than it has been uh, just running all day, which kind of is what people talk about when they talk about the Samsung lag, um, because a lot of stuff's going on in the background. And so having the phone on all day uh, kind of gets sluggish. Where you saw when I did it out of a fresh reboot, it was drastically faster than before. Even before though, it was faster than the G6 in uh, several of the tests, but not by much is very comparable. And I think that uh, Samsung actually just has quicker animations because the apps seem to just jump 
right at the screen when you tap the icon um, and then they sit there for a second and then they load around the same time uh, but the sa was the winner uh, not by a huge margin so i would argue that the snapdragon 821 is still a perfectly fine processor um, and the 835 is just that much better um, but let me know in the comments what you thought about this test were you surprised or is it what you pretty much expected to happen and we will see you next time later